Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Finally, Nigerian military speaks <laughs> on the things they did. Remember, the panel finally has gone to their uh, mortuary unannounced. So they went there unannounced all of a sudden on the spot. Do you know that they blocked the people from entering? They did not get in. Oh. Hmm. So now they are trying to release a statement. <laughs> there is God in heaven who sees the affairs of men, who will judge every man according to what he's doing today humanly speaking it takes time and we are aggravated and saying when 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 but you know the funniest thing when the judgment of god will come hmm, everyone that is lying and are making parents childless and are continuing with their evil agenda in this country wait and see you know what their end if they don't change and repent and you know ask nigerians for mercy and truly you know true to their word go to prison and get the reward of what they have set in motion you'll be amazed at what will happen to them you know that some people get old and begin to bed rich. you do they don't have to get hold first <laughs> when a health conditions come upon you because of the some of the things you have done you take people's children's life and you smile about it and say it is photoshop we were never there okay we were there they invited us okay we, we were there we shot but uh, what we did was rubber stamp uh, between the no one kiss what are you talking about what exactly it is i mean which exactly it is because at this point you are blabbing and the lies, you can't keep up because the, keep, the story keeps changing every single time. So which one is it? You were never there. You never got to the point. You never got to Lekki. You never left your barrack. That was the first story. Okay. With the pictures and the videos you are seeing. Oh, Photoshop. No police was there. Ah. Uh, hey. Okay, it's not Photoshop. We were actually there. We were invited. Okay. What about the shooting that you have been accused of? Eh, what we use was rubber stamp bullets and does not kill anybody. Ah, uh ah, -uh, I bury you alone. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. So finally, they speak. A statement by Coordinator Defensive Media Operation, Major General John Eneche, denied the allegation that insists that the military personnel were guarded by extreme rules of engagement and standing operation procedure for such situation. According to him, troops attached to the Special Task Force Operation Safety Haven in an effort to prevent crime during the NSAS protests in just mobilized to the House of former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mr. Yakubu Dagoro at Langwa, where they arranged 30 hoodlums who had stormed the house to loot. He said, we never did anything to them. We only took them out. It was the same this John and Nietzsche, yes, that said, the pictures we are seeing, we are all photoshopped. This same guy, this same man. He was the one that said so. So that's why I'm really wondering that with the gravity of what has happened, yes, and um, the supposedly, you know, speech by President Muhammad Buhari after he has drunk, slept, feel comfortable and wanted to be sarcastic and came out with that speech. According to Femi Adesino, he said, yes, that uh, Buhari uh, uh, touched every part and he said how? He said because he wrote the speech, so he knows that he covered every part. According to them, yes. All that has happened, mm -hmm. they will dance to the tune of the music they have set on. This guy said they were never there in the first place. Yes, they were there, but uh, they were invited. Uh, yes, they were invited. They actually shot, but it was rubber stamp. I mean, brother, which one are you talking about? You can see the lies. They, they can't even keep up. You can see the turns of lies keep coming again and again and again and again. Well, the truth of the matter is something has actually happened with somebody saw where it's trying very hard to cover and nigerian government is not helping at all because they are not a sincere bunch why they don't want to be exposed themselves because they have skeletons in their own cupboard and as such we rather want to keep it quiet so that um you know people do not uh, put eyes on them because better of a feather they all flock together can you see what is going on that people keep lying and keep lying to themselves and will not stop lying. 
Well, if you continue like this and you do nothing about the life of the people you sworn in an oath to protect, you are an ingrate. And guess what? The same nation that you that you think you are governing and today you feel that you are untouchable will be the same one that will engulf you and you'll be swallowed up in the same calamity that you are putting people in and guess what the way it will come to you you'll be so surprised it will be something you did not envisage you did not see coming how can you lie in broad daylight and cover the you know you just cover up what you have done to people how how does it happen how do you go about and you sleep comfortably your eyes short i beg your pardon what kind of person are you what kind of a man a woman are you and you guys continue to lie, covering the lie here and there. This nature is the one that said it. He said that ah, the, the pictures you are seeing, the army never even left the barrack. Have you investigated? Have you found out? Are you sure it was true? He said they never left the barrack. Ah, ah, what are you talking? They never left the barrack. Excuse me. Now you are saying that the only array, the number of persons that uh, apparently we are going to the house of the or one of the speakers, blah, 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 blah. Why are you guys such a servant? And you guys, they keep parading you about and you have not thought about it. What do I have to do in my life apart from being these servants? Anyway, this is what is happening. Nigerian leaders, they can't keep up with the lies. And Buhari was so sarcastic, telling the international community, that um, they should get the fact. You're forgetting that the U.S., the United States of America, have satellites and they can produce to you what happened real time. You're forgotten. You have to be careful. If you don't want to die in, the, in, in prison, you've not seen other countries where head of states have been persecuted. Oh, you think <laughs> you don't understand it. You can be persecuted. Yes, very well. Like no man's business. So be careful. Be very careful. And yeah, yes, 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 let's quickly just get on with our with our move. We move. It's the next slogan. We move. Because the truth of the matter is they have shown us one way that does not work for us to be able to achieve our purpose. And what they've done to us nice for if they've given us the 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 yastic for us to go back to the drawing board and begin to look at the facts. How did, where did it go wrong? So how can we make sure this does not happen again? Because a wise man, when, if you use the same formula, you get the same result, yes? So if you want a different result, you have to go through a different approach. Thank you very much for sponsoring Hoodlums to come into the peaceful protest that was stamping and was, and, and was stating our obvious fact. So disrupting the whole peace and getting it to where it is today. But you've just shown us one way that it does not work. What are we going to do? We're going to get back on the drawing board. We're going to make sure that this works. And you don't, you are not, you're, going to, you're not going to see what is coming. You're not going to see it. It's going to come on you and it's going to come hard. Guys, leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.